This video is all about fixed flow power heads for your saltwater aquarium. It's the latest in the playlist for power heads for your saltwater aquarium and fixed flow are awesome for providing the backbone of your water flow in your aquarium on a budget. So make sure you stick around because this video is going to tell you everything you need to know. Hi, I'm Richard from the Beginners Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with great information, awesome resources and really helpful tips. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and be sure to stick around to the end because I've got a great beginner's tip that I hope you'll find helpful. So this video is all about fixed flow power heads and it's the latest video in our power head series for your saltwater aquarium. Uh, fixed flow power heads basically are just exactly that. You plug them into the wall and they run at the set flow rate that they are designed for. They come in many different shapes and sizes from many different brands and you can get them on a budget and you can also pay a couple of hundred dollars for them. So there's a good range for any kind of aquarium. They provide really good wide flow to get your water moving in your aquarium. So let's go and have a look at the fixed flow pump. So what is a fixed flow pump good for? And like I said, it's kind of the backbone of providing water movement in your aquarium for a budget. Because they're a fixed flow, you can pick them up starting at around about 30 bucks for your small power heads that are gonna be around about 200 gallons per hour. But there are many, many sizes and they can go all the way up to 3,500 gallons per hour with every size in between. So it makes them ideal for finding the right pump for your size aquarium. You can have them in small nano aquariums and you can have them into huge thousand gallon aquariums. And they're really good for just putting at the back of your tank just to get water moving around. They are generally one of the first kind of power heads that most people buy. Um, because your return pump isn't giving enough flow in your aquarium, you just need a little bit more to keep the detritus from settling in your water. So the fixed flow power head is a really good budget starter power head for your aquarium. So when it comes to sizing the power head, you have to look at the livestock that you are going to have in your aquarium and this is the same for every kind of pump in this series uh, but I'm going to go through it just so you understand so basically you need to look at the livestock you're going to be having are you going to be having a fish only aquarium are you going to be having some corals like softies or LPS or are you going to be having or wanting to have SPS corals in the future so what you need to do is kind of look at the way that you see your aquarium going and then buy your power head to kind of fit into that plan, that into that scheme of where you want to see your aquarium in two, three years. When you're talking about a fish only aquarium, you only need to be turning over the volume of the aquarium between five to 10 times every hour. And basically what that means is if you've got a 50 gallon aquarium and you're turning it over 10 times an hour, it's basically 50 gallons times 10 comes out at 500 gallons an hour. If you're looking to have the, the softies in LPS like um, frog spawn, hammers, torches, GSP, that kind of thing, then you want to be looking at around 10 to 20 times your system turnover. So again, if you've got a 50 gallon aquarium, you want 20 times your turnover, you're going to be around about a thousand gallons per hour. SPS require the most demanding flow, so you're going to be looking anywhere from 20 to you know, over 50 times your turnover. So the, all the pumps that you put in your aquarium want to be touching on this turnover and your fixed flow pumps provide the good backbone. So if you're going to be wanting to say have a turnover of say 3000 gallons per hour in an SPS tank, you can get a couple of fixed flow power heads that are cheaper that say run at 1500 gallons per hour and that will then get the water moving around and then you can add the different types of variable flow or gyro type pumps to basically create the random flow. So it's the fixed flow provide the, the way to move the water but on a budget. The ones that are really, really good for this, that are really good 
uh, in terms of their budget, their pedigree, or the Karelia range from Heidel. These have been around for ages and ages and ages, and there are multiple generations. And you can see here on this page on Marine Depot, they've got a size for every kind of aquarium. So they're a really good model for the budget conscious aquarist. If you want something that's gonna really last, the Tunzi Turbels are bulletproof and they've been around for donkey's years, but you're gonna pay for that name and that pedigree. But if you buy one of their pumps, it's gonna last you longer than your aquarium is probably gonna be up and running. So they're really good quality. So there's a good range of pumps to suit every budget. So I've had some people ask me, well, can't I just put fixed flow pumps on timers and have them turn on and off? And yes, you can, but there's actually a better option that you can get that is actually, that works really good. And there's really two of them. One of them is one from Hydor. If you're using the Karelia Powerheads, you can actually get it in a kit and it's called the Smart Wave Controller. And it comes basically with two Karelia Powerheads and you can get them in different sizes. And they start at about 150 bucks. And that is basically just gonna be a controller with two pumps that turns one on for a set amount of time, then turns the other on. One on, then the other, one on, then the other. Um, and they work good. You can put your power heads at opposite ends of the tank, have one go this way, one go this way. If you don't want to use the Karelia series of power heads, you can get a another controller, which is a bit more universal, and it's called the JBJ Ocean Wave Duo Pump Controller. And this allows you to just plug any pumps in, plug two pumps in, and you can adjust the dial to set the on off time from a couple of seconds to up to six minutes. So you can plug your power heads in, set your timer, one will run, then the other, one will run, then the other. And this is a good way for the beginner and budget conscious aquarist to get you know two pumps and a controller for under 200 bucks to get yourself started in creating some random flow in your aquarium. So when it comes to kind of the pros and cons of fixed flow pumps, budget is always at the top of the list for a pro on this one because they start off at so cheap, you can, you can start moving water in your aquarium on a pretty small amount. So that's one of the best things about them. They come in multiple sizes. They come from multiple um, top name brands that have got really good pedigree behind them. And a lot of them now all have like the magnetic suction cup mounts on them. So that basically they use the suction to stick it to the tank and then a magnet on the outside of the tank to keep it there. Uh, before when they just use suction cups that fall off, blow your sand everywhere and you'd have a sandstorm in your tank. But now pretty much it's the set standard that they come with a, a magnet suction. So the pros, th there's lots of them. Really the only con to fixed flow pumps is you have no speed control. You have no control over flow or how fast they ramp up and ramp down or different waveform patterns or anything like that. It's basically just on, off, on, off. Um, but by using them as a pair with one of those controllers, you can have a good basic flow kind of control system in your saltwater aquarium. So the beginner's tip for this video is relating to those suction cups and the magnet mounts. What you need to do is if you have a large tank is you need to check the thickness of the glass or the acrylic of that aquarium because some pumps come with a maximum mounting thickness and you wanna check the pump that you want to buy is gonna be able to stay stuck to the side of that glass. If you start getting an aquarium that's half inch, three eighths of an inch thick, then you can have to start looking a lot more at the pumps. And when you look at the pumps on somewhere like marinedepot.com, it's gonna tell you in the description what the maximum mounting thickness is. Because if it's too thick for the pump, they might stick, but as that pump starts to generate its flow, and if you've got it on a flow controller, that pulsing could pop it off the tank and then it, you're back to it firing down at your sand bed and firing sand everywhere and you've got a sandstorm. So if you've got a large tank or a long tank, 
Um, especially ones that are like a rimless tank that don't have any of the Euro bracing around the top. They generally get away with it by having thicker glass along the front. So over half inch, three eighths of an inch, just start checking in the description for the pumps to make sure that your pump is going to be able to stay firmly stuck to the side of your tank. So fixed flow pumps are just a really good general all round pump that are cheaper that you can start to get water moving. Use them in conjunction with the controller and you can start to get a bit of that control. If you wanted to know about the different types of power heads that you can get for our um, saltwater aquariums, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. I think you'll really find them helpful. Now, if you want a comparison on all the different kinds of pumps and how they kind of stack up against one another and which is best for which, make sure you check out this video you can find right here and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.